And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best, Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup. Here's Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's Talk Hookup right here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're live at Day at the Docks here in San Diego. A beautiful day in San Diego to come down to Day at the Docks and see all that's going on here. Uh, we are surrounded by a very large line to get into the giant used tackle sale for Rollo to raise money to take kids fishing. And uh, a lot of people here joining us, uh, Gary and Tom. Tommy are helping out, uh, help getting people to step up to the mic here. Uh, Bill, our engineer here, uh, helping out here. We sure appreciate his efforts, too. And Doug Kearns hanging out with us. We have a host of guests around us. And uh, a lot of fun today, right? No doubt, man. Today Perfect is day. day of the docks. It's a celebration of sport fishing. It's killer deals on tackle. It's open house on a lot of the different boats. It's coming down to the landing and maybe get a, a layout of the, the bunk room. Pick out what bunk yeah. you want to stay on for your trips throughout the year. Hopefully get an excellent deal on Fish and Tackle. As you see, they open oh, the gates. Oh, they open the gates. <laughs> wow, wow. early, an hour early. It's on. So, yeah, get your place in line. They, uh, people are descending on the used tackle there. I so. have never seen a layout of used tackle from Rollo this That's big. That's a good one, I'm isn't it? I'm just un- yeah. unbelievable amount of stuff. And a lot of it's good quality stuff. I mean, they got oh, yeah. piles of rods, tables of reels, all kinds of terminal tackle. And yeah. it ju- it's getting raided right now. I wish we had. <laughs> Yeah, wish we had cool. a drone picture of oh, this. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, and the, yeah, the people are buying it up, and and the great thing about it is, is every. Everything is going to take kids fishing. Well, yeah. Yeah, and you heard Mike Lum earlier. It's double the price to take kids fishing now, so yeah. we need to raise a lot of money. And there's some, so, so it's great to see uh, a lot of people come out for the tackle sale. So get on down here. Grab grab it, grab while you can. And, uh, um, uh, we, you know, we got some great prizes here at our live broadcast, too. Man, right? you're not kidding. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, so if you step up to the microphone today uh, and ask a question, you're going to be eligible to win one of two killer prizes. The first of which is a $50 gift certificate to go down to Point Loma Seafoods. Lunch on us, $50 to uh, Point Loma Seafoods to one lucky stand-up mic uh, per- person. The other prize is a brand new pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Wow. And that's for uh, anybody that steps up to the mic and asks a question on the air today is going to be eligible. We're giving away a second pair of Costa Del Mars, uh, and that's going to be to uh, one of our callers or texters determined by coin flip at the end of the show today. So how about that? Two pairs of Costas and a fifty dollar gift certificate to Point Loma Sea. Yeah, pretty good deal there. So we got a lot of lot to give away, and thanks to Bob Hoos and the whole Costa team for giving that away, and thanks to John over at Point Loma Seafoods for supplying that. I can tell you this: there's a lot of places around here to eat. Uh, we're having lunch at Point Loma Seafoods here in the Let's Talk Hookup booth. I want to mention too that uh, Gary and Tommy are helping me out in the Let's Talk Hookup booth today. We'll be around all morning here, and uh, we have some incredible deals. Uh, like almost giveaway stuff here in our Let's Talk Hookup booth. Uh, of course, we have our traditional Let's Talk Hookup t-shirt, 100% cotton with a pocket, 20 bucks each, two for 30. I can tell you that's about what I paid that's for. That's a deal. Them. So, yeah, yeah that's because uh, it's a quality shirt. So you want a shirt, there you go. Get this, Doug. Afco Vertex fishing shirt, regularly 55 bucks, 25 bucks. Wow. Yeah, no embroidered kidding. with Let's Talk Hookup logo. No way. Get this one. Afco M01L, the long fishing shirt. Short. Yep. Regularly sixty-five bucks for thirty bucks. Okay. And that's got the let's. It's, it's got a really cool either that, a yellowtail. That's, that's the coolest part of the whole thing. Yeah. Is that they've got the, it's the got logo on there. Lo- yellowtail or a tuna on on the logo. It's it, again these are while supplies last. Afco long sleeve textured. So I don't have a very many of those. Regularly fifty bucks, twenty-five bucks, and that's again with that broider. Nice. So come by the booth here after we're finished with the broadcast. We'll get things set up and uh, come by and uh, steal some stuff. Uh, we're 
we're just kind of closing out those items. That's and, cool, Pete. Uh, yeah, kind of uh, doing that. So uh, we have some great text, some great calls, and some great step up to the mic, guys. Uh, I have a great text here I just want to read because it's an important, very timely information here for information on Let's Talk Hookup. It's from Harvey and San Juan Capistrano. I have not heard a fish report from the East Cape with Rancho Leonero closed due to someone coming. Is coming somebody coming uh, in the future? And I have great news about that. Uh, our great friend Chris Moyer from the East Cape Smokehouse, Smokies, uh, and also now he owns the Vaquera, uh, which is a 35 Cabo yeah. uh, down in uh, the East Cape. Chris is going to be doing a weekly fish report hey, for us every great. Saturday wow. on the cool. show. That's so cool. yeah, so he's and and Chris knows. Yeah, that's the guy. Everything that's going on. That's down awesome. There, because he basically meets the boats that are bringing in the fish uh, okay. at Palmas de Cortez, then Playa del Sol, and all a lot of the other resorts. So he knows what's biting. Nice. And so Chris is going to be giving us a live fish report every every Saturday. Not sure what day it's going to start, but within the next couple weeks. That's great yeah, news. So that's cool. great news. So finally going to get some good information now that we uh, that John Ireland's doing his much deserved retirement. Oh yeah, I'm right? sure he is. Yeah. And it, which he is so, um, so that'll that'll be uh, that'll be nice to have for sure. And well, I just wanted to uh, go ahead. Re- re- you know, part of the the text. You know, we talked about getting so many texts. I, I'm sure you've seen the same thing. A lot of text messages asking about parking and parking a day yes. at the docks and where do we park and what do we do. And and I know that there is a shuttle service yep. um, from Shelter Island over here. And Doug, maybe give a layout of like what the parking's like around here because not only does it benefit us for day at the docks, but for the you know for the season coming if somebody's booking a trip and hasn't. Uh, been familiar with the all the additional parking that's been well, know, yeah. I mean, here now. the the bottom line is, I was involved in this whole parking thing in the last two years since we've changed the parking here. There is parking. Every day, including Fridays in August yeah. and September, even if it's across the street between the two hotels in what we call the Overflow or the Westies lot, there's 170 spaces over there. There's 270 some spaces in the lot here, and there's a, a, about three or four hundred uh, spaces just outside the landing and down towards uh, Point Loma Marina and um, and uh, Sun Harbor next door to us. It's all paid parking. Just be keep in mind. Mm-hmm. But well, it was always paid parking in yeah. here, but I mean, to, to pay 12 bucks to go fishing where yeah. before you had to drive around and go up in the neighborhood three and four right. blocks and lug your gear, this is way better. I was the biggest hater of the paid parking. No we doubt. All I, I was. We you all know, fought it, you it, know. It's the best thing that ever yeah, happened. Absolutely. What, what, we, what none of us realized was how many people were going to the airport, yes. utilizing free right. parking, getting a $5 cab and going, as soon as, as soon as you had to pay for it and all the free parking guys went away, there's tons of parking again. Right. Like, it's, it's all the, the best people thing out of happened. these moored sailboats out here in the basin were parking there and just leaving their car there. I mean, our spaces were being utilized by people that should not have been using the spaces. Right. And so, the, yeah, Day at the Docks has had a shuttle service for as long as I can remember. They run down on Shelter Island. There's lots of parking down on Shelter Island, and it's never really been a problem. People come and go, so spaces fill up, and then you know another one empties out, and uh, so it's uh, no no different than any other big event, um, it's a very organized method. We, we r- rarely have a complaint about the parking at day at the docks, which, you know, you bring 10,000 people down here in a little small area, you'd think it would be a disaster, yeah. but it's really not. No, that's cool. Um, Tom, University City, is he still around, or is he in there? Uh, but there he is. Hey, All Tom. right. Here. Thanks for joining us here at day at the docks. Appreciate that. We thought that's we might have lost you to the sale. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head into yeah. the melee right after this. Uh, so for swim bait fishing in La Jolla, I've been using an, like an eight foot cousin's rod. It's that I got from you, Doug. Yeah. But it's it's a little bit long and it's a little bit fast. It feels like. So I was wondering what you thought would be the ideal sort of local swim bait rod. Uh, well, I hate to tell you, I think you have the right rod. Oh really? Number one for calico fishing, you want a fast taper because a lot of times they're structure and kelp oriented, and you've got and you're also setting the hook into a fish with a hard mouth, and uh, so. You know, you don't really set the hook like you do on a freshwater bass, but you're winding through the bite. And if your rod's too spongy, you never get the barb into them. Right. So a fast taper and eight foot is what I primarily use. Um, there are times where I use a nine foot rod, you know, on a sport boat that's anchored up, especially where you've got to get a long cast off. But if you're on a kayak or a private boat and you're drifting through the kelp stringers and you're potholing, then yes, you can go a six and a half to seven foot rod. 
side, you're going to want to go something fairly heavy. Um, so that's where, like, that Terramar 7-foot heavy rod might be a, a good call. Um, those Cousins rods were nice, and that 8-foot would be... I mean, I have several of those that I, I really like, but um, you can't get those any longer. So, um, But even for private boat drifting, you know, with the wind at your back, going through the kelp and casting into the potholes, I don't mind an 8-foot rod at all. I really don't. And sometimes that's an advantage um, because you can reach out a little further when you're, you know, kind of side underhanding it into the next pothole. Um, you know, I, I feel that it's still viable for that. But you could go down to a seven foot rod and again I mean you're the third person I'm going to tell this to you should go into the shop get one of the guys we all fish inshore calicos bay all that kind of tackle and just pull on two or three or four find one in your price point and find one that feels like it might be the right thing for you if, if that eight foot's feeling a little gangly to you Sounds good. Thank All right. You. Thanks, Tom. Thanks a lot for Thank the call. You. Let's jump into the phones, Rick. You got it. How about we talk to John? John's calling us from out in Dallas, Texas this morning. What's up, John? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Morning, guys. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, uh, the YouTube app has your show on it. I've been checking it out. I've been checking out a lot of things on YouTube, but uh, my question to Rick is, I'm coming next month. Can you save me one of those blanks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be... Uh, 600 six bucks, I'll save you a blank. Yeah, I, I, that's a, that's a Pretty tall order, John. They are uh, they are already moving this morning, and they're they're hard to miss when you see a guy with a giant yellow blank uh, walking down the aisle. So, no promises, John, but we'll do our our very best. The the, the thing with these is it, it appears that there might be an avenue to get them again, but they were gone for so long. I just don't think that I would. I, I just I just don't know. I don't know that you know like we're we're hopeful that it will be a regular item once again, but it just seems like. Like every once in a while, a batch of CUIs makes it out here, and and then they just get gobbled up, and they instantly become collectors' items again. So, so uh, unfortunately, the the sale is in person only, but uh, hopefully, we'll have some the next time you come down. Yeah. All right. Very good, John. Hey, uh, good luck. Come on down. Get to come to San Diego. It's a beautiful yeah. day here in San Diego. Uh, I have a quick uh, uh, text here from uh, uh, it's Tony in Hesperia. He says, "Is Day at the Docks dog friendly?" And I'm looking at a dog. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, come on 100%. down. It's, it's, it's outside. Only, it's, it's tradition. Yeah, That's it's right. tradition. So, yeah, come on down with your dog and uh, and join it. Uh, and, and your family and your free. It's a, This is a very cool, outdoor, yeah. fun, free event. Yeah. David Chavez is here from CCA San Diego Chapter. What's up, David? Hey, good morning, guys. Good, good morning. morning. Hey, right. thanks for coming down. Thank and, you. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Look it at is the weather. It is a beautiful Change day. Of, uh, all this kind of up and down that we've had. Yeah, it's for be a sure. Nice day. We'll take it. Everybody yeah. needs to come out and enjoy yeah. it. Sure. Yeah. Have to look around, bring the family, bring the dogs, right? Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to take a quick opportunity, and thank you for letting me step up, uh, to invite um, whoever wants to come out to come join us on May 18th at Marina Village for our annual Apps and Taps fundraiser. It's a uh, $75 entry. You can sign up online at ccacalifornia.org. You can find us at our booth today here at, at Day at the Docks. You're here, yeah. We're here. Great. You can find us online. You can find us on social media. Join up. If, you have, uh, if you're have an annual member and you're constantly renewing, take this opportunity to come in and renew your membership. It's $40, um, $40 for the membership, plus another 35 will get you into the event for the $75. Okay. A little perk that, you know, for those, yeah. those individuals that are always supporting us. So. Yeah, and then you're, you're uh, going to be signing up today uh, people for the star tournament coming up here very very shortly absolutely we'll yeah. have uh, people coming through and signing up for the tournament if you're a member already for a CCA uh, and you're re-upped it's a uh, $40 forty dollars forty bucks that's it 40 bucks. that's it that's yeah great. it's gonna be a phenomenal tournament yeah. it's our first yeah. uh, annual inaugural event for star here in California so. yeah and the cool thing about the apps and taps on uh, May 18th I'll be there and you're gonna be honoring Frank Lopresti we are doing uh, our first our first uh, annual um, beacon award we've come up with uh, yeah. my VP Arnie uh, has come up with the idea and we're putting it together so we're gonna start honoring uh, individuals from the, from our industry and in, in what we're calling the beacon award 
award. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, giving well, them the accolades that they deserve in, here in San Diego. So, again, that's May 18th over at Marine Village, right next to Seaforth there. Right. And uh, how do you get tickets? Uh, you can go online at ccacalifornia.org, look for the events, and um, you can find us and, there. And, and that $75 entry includes all the food, all the uh, beer, uh, yes, all the... Yes, actually, it's all, all you can eat and drink. We yeah, have uh, prizes. We have uh, various amounts of uh, food and uh, breweries and some distilleries that will be there. Yeah. So It's from 4 to 8 p.m. Come out. We have a live band. It's going to be a great time. That's All right. awesome. Great, nice. David. Plenty All of right. raffles, So Thanks for coming by. All right, guys. All right. Good luck with the event. For TCA. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and I might add, too, that next Saturday we're going to have the crew from CCA California, Wayne, Chris, and Tony, in the world headquarters with us. So that will be a great show, 7 to 9 a.m. next Saturday on Let's Talk Hook Up. That's great. Be a good one for sure. Hey, uh, uh, Jason from uh, O. It looks like O. Is that OB? I would bet OB. Yeah, yeah OB, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jason. What's up, Jason? Step up to that mic there, and I'll... Uh, yeah. Um, first one off is, um, now I've got a uh, day and a half trip coming up. Uh, Stoked. What, I have a 300-gram uh, knife jig going down for that nighttime fish. What's the difference between that one and this Eddie bomb? <laughs> and then next question is, now the coasters. Well, how do you, what is the difference in lens colors for best for basically like gray night, you know, green style fishing or super black blue skies like we have today? And also, are the Yummy Flyers going to be on sale? Hey, uh, before we answer all those questions, we're going to go live to the Royal Polaris right. and talk to Captain Roy. Good morning, Roy. Good Uh-oh. morning, Pete. How you guys doing? Uh-oh. Hey, doing great, man. We're live at Day at the Docks here, and uh, it's quite the event. I'll bet, yeah, uh, sorry, we weren't there for that one, uh, but I heard that guy was asking about the Eddie Bomb, what do you want to know about that, I was I was there when they started that. <laughs> yeah, you were, it was started right there by Eddie on the boat, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, aw- That's awesome. Does boy. it work? Yeah, it works really good. It really it started out taking out backlashes, and it grew from there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man! So you guys are having quite the trip, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. We're just getting started here. No, it's been great. A lot of uh, you know, it's not wide open by any means. I think yesterday we had 19 fish, but majority of the fish, you know, I, I just weighed one. Uh, for a guy that's his personal best that I was I was saying was a 150 pounder I mean a 120 pounder I go yeah their 120s throw them down because we were getting so many 180s 170s and the, the thing weighing 151 pounds I'm like oh my goodness they're, they're a little bigger than we than we're thinking and uh, anything that looks like it's 80 90 pounds is probably 110 uh, so it, it's nice fish. And there's not many of those. It's basically 150 to 180 pound fish. So when you get a bite, you got your hands full. And That's we did get so a handful. Man. We got a few. We had uh, yesterday. We had a, a, a T70, a 211. Wow. And another one, you might have had a 202. Um, another one, 190, uh, 192 was the next best. And then everything rolled down from there. But very good wow. fishing, mixed with Wahoo. Um, we've had decent wahoo fishing. We've already, uh, everybody's got a hand, you know, a few apiece, so which is good. So we're just waiting for the RSW tank now. Man, what wow. a, what, what a, a trip. Day, huh? And that's just the start. Oh, yeah, no, we've only been here, uh, we're down at the, at the Hurricane Bank, and we've been here, this will, this will be our third day. And, uh, it, it's, it's, look, it's nice. Like this morning, we got, we have five fish this morning. There's a lot of sharks to deal with. You know, they're eating a lot of, they're actually eating the lures. It's a smaller oh, shark. Uh, they're, they're not really bothering the bigger fish. You know, you, just, you get a 25-pound tuna, yeah, it comes up looking like a corn on the cob. But, you know, any, any of the better fish, they, they, won't, they won't mess with the bigger fish, which is nice. That's cool, That's Roy. nice. And uh, you guys have been catching some wahoo, too, right? Yeah, yeah, we had very nice wild fish. The other day we had 56 our first day. Yesterday we did, we picked up, I think, seven, 18 yesterday. And it's, and it's all that nice fish. And we've got a couple this morning on accident. Uh, yo yo went for tuna in the dark. Nice. And, and weather's good? Weather's beautiful. It's probably uh, 14 oh, you... knots, which is good for getting the kite out. Anything less... 
It's annoying, but we're not we're good enough to get the kites down. We've had plenty of nice flying fish for the kites, so we'll see what happens this afternoon. That fish got on the bank yesterday afternoon, and it was uh, we had a lot of bites. We had a few casualties, you know, tackle failure, stuff like that. But it is what it is. It's part of the deal. We'll come wow. in and see you guys back there at the landing rig and restock. All right, buddy. Well, 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 Memo is standing by and wanted to make sure that he that you knew that he was listening to this report. And everybody's fired up here, Roy. There's that's some great fishing you guys got going on. Yeah, no, we're stoked for sure. We're gonna see if we can keep it keep it rolling here, and the season on a high note. Yeah, it sounds like a great start, Roy. I hope you guys keep getting them. Yeah, thanks, Roy, right, for the call. Yeah, and uh, right. after this, uh, you're doing maintenance, right? Your favorite project. Oh, yeah, we're going into maintenance. Get everything tidied up and ready to start fishing locally for whatever's available. All right, well, we need you to get the, get get things done and keep those bluefins on their toes. Roy, well, uh, congratulations to an already fantastic trip. Just the beginning. I I think this is going to be a mega win. And uh, how how long until you guys come back to San Diego? Uh, we'll be back there the 19th. We'll be back on the 19th. And uh, I think the boat's coming out of the water the next day, so... All right. Yeah. Well, happy birthday to uh, John Yamati Sr. Oh, I'll throw yeah, out. Yeah, 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 no, he got it. He got his happy birthday 200 pounder yesterday. He's oh, no, no, no surprise, man. All That's right. awesome. Good Way to go, Roy. You. All right. Hey, Roy from the Royal Polaris down at Hurricane Bank, about a thousand miles south of San Diego. Uh, nice to get, get to hear from you. We appreciate that very much. And uh, J- uh, Doug, uh, Jason's uh, question. We, we covered the. Eddie bomb doesn't work. Yeah, absolutely. You got him as. <laughs> but you, you know, guys have Eddie bombs. I, I want to elaborate on that because yeah. Roy just touched on it. People that don't know what it is, basically, it's a 16 ounce torpedo sinker with the assist hooks on there and the 200 pound fluorocarbon leader. And now some of the jig manufacturers and the lead manufacturers are making like teardrop shapes. Uh, two fish we just got a, a batch in, uh-huh. and um, some of them in the red, like the red crab, and then just the natural color like that. Um, and uh, so you might want to go in the shop there and take a look at that one. But they're very effective, especially when you know there's a little wind or current. You need to get down a little bit quicker. Um, but there's nothing wrong with a good old knife jig. Those things are A+, plus, going to catch a fish as well as they ever did. And when the conditions are a little bit more favorable, sometimes that's a good way to go, too. So... Um, it's just another thing to have in the quiver, and, and you want to have as many options when you're out there as possible. There are definitely trips that we hear about where they wouldn't touch that stupid thing, and then other trips where if you didn't have an eddy bomb, you didn't get bit. And eddy bomb's a generic term for basically a torpedo sinker, a piece of lead uh, decked out with the proper assist hooks. We use a, a lot of the Mustad assist hooks, and then a 200-pound fluorocarbon leader for chafing. It only needs to be about a foot and a half long, something like like that and uh so just uh, through wire torpedo sinker uh it, yes. Depending on your rigging style. Ah, but if, uh, if you, okay. If, if you, you rig the, your assist yeah. hooks in line, ah. um, the the weight never gets any pressure on it. Okay. So, but you've got to make but, sure that you do that, exactly. or, or the uh, the brass uh, ring will pull right out yeah, of the lead. On a head. standard one. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. If you if you've got a standard torpedo sinker, you need to have your hooks hanging from the top, and your leader line needs to go through those. If it's a through wire, it can either be the top or the bottom. Okay. Very good. And then uh, Costa sunglasses. Your yep. favorite for going Ooh, lens color. Um, yeah, lens color. I mean, just the short version, the basics are when you get the, the yellows and even into the, the copper style colors, those are going to be higher contrast, seeing kelp patties. They're going to work well when it's an overcast condition. You know, you're going out in some mornings, you got your blue mirror, your gray lenses on, and you can't see anything. You keep taking your glasses on and off. You, you know, so use your yellow ones like that. And then the gray ones and the blue mirror, which blue mirror is a gray just with a reflective. Uh, it takes out one more percent of the light, uh, 12% instead of 11%. And those are going to be like your days like today when you've got that crystal clear air and bright sunny day, you know, Hawaii, Cabo, some of the days we get here. We get a lot of overcast mornings going out in San Diego. And so it's really nice. Uh, I have my yellow ones on today because it's been so darn overcast. Uh, and you can wear the yellow and, and the copper colors in bright sunlight. But what's really going to be the most comfortable is that gray. So, I mean, I'm not trying to spend your hard-earned money and spend 500 bucks for you, but you really should have two pairs. 
this this is like the yellow. Um, that, that, I think they call it silver mirror. That's a cool one because it's a yellow lens, but it's got a silver mirror over the top so it, of it, so it doesn't it look does. funky. I, 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 these are just a, these are a gray silver mirror. So, Same that I have on. So, so yeah. what you're looking at is like what 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 somebody sees from the outside is just the silver film, um, but like looking through Doug's is yellow and looking through mine is gray. And this is my everyday. I know Ricky's too. Same. Every day, the Rinconcito gray silver mirror is my everyday where I'm driving them, I walk around them. But when I'm on the water, I love the green, uh, the green mirror, which and, is uh, like an ambery colored and, lens, and, which and, gives and you, you ask, the contrast. Uh, and 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 you ask uh, Steve Lasley, that's his favorite too. Yep. That's his favorite color. It gives you a lot more contrast to see, uh, you know, uh, spot kelp patties and other things too. So. I'm gray lens all the time. All the time. Silver mirror, gray lens. Like this is this is me what I wear on the water yeah. driving around. This is my favorite. Yeah. There you go. Hope but the beauty is, go try them on. Yeah, Check it out. On. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got you, Jason. Go in, go over to the Coastal Booth, see Bob and, and Eddie over there, or go inside the shop, and uh, you get that deal. Totally. Yeah. yeah that's or, you could, or you could win them today. Yeah, maybe you get a pair, <laughs> maybe you get a pair at the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, with that said, it's time to find out what's going on on the water. Today, your catch report is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, where you can get premier processing experience. Check out the brand new and easier online system to book your processing for your long-range trips. Now with the addition of new team members, the Fisherman's Processing stays far ahead of the rest. More same-day capacity, the finest customer service. Stop by their location in Old Town on Taylor Street or check Fisherman'sProcessing.com and be sure to make your fishing reservation, fish processing reservations today. With that said, we got the man, Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide, standing by. Good morning, Dave. Hey, good morning, Doug, Rick, Pete. Thanks for letting me be on the show. I'm not going to have the kind of report that Roy Rose just gave us. It's going to be a little disappointing. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> not a lot of wahoo, not a lot of wahoo and big tuna here. But gang, I just want you to understand the rockfish population is alive and well. The rock fishing has was absolutely insane in between the weather this week. Half day boats, three quarter day boats, five of boats. Plenty of rockfish, so the rockfish population is doing just fine, if anybody was concerned about it, even though they changed the regs, the rockfish are doing just fine. There's plenty of them out there, and it's been very, very good fishing. Over at Catalina, there is some sea bass to be caught there. In between the weather, there's some squid, middle backside of the island. Little bit, little dabs here, little dabs there. Nobody's selling it yet, but that's just a matter of time. It's all about this weather. That's why no one's over there selling it yet because it's not financially feasible to go over there and then no one comes out. But they will be selling it. I've talked to a bunch of the different guys. They'll be selling it there as soon as the weather straightens out. But in between that, there's really fun, I mean, historically good halibut fishing at Catalina in very shallow water, 15 to 20 feet of water. The guys, when they focus on it, they're doing very, very well there. It's, it's pretty cool what's going on. And then, like Wooly said, we had that big dip in the water here the last couple of days with all that wind. But I'm hoping and praying that that's behind us and we can get on to some calmer days, but gang, if you listen to Roy, you hear what's going on down the line, there's a lot of yellowtail, there's a lot of stuff coming, I would suggest, if you're going fishing, to make your reservations now, and Rick will tell you, and Doug will tell you, it's super busy at Fisherman's Landing every day right now, people are chomping at the bit, waiting to get out there in between the weather, so if you don't make a reservation, there's probably a good chance you're going to be trying to get on a boat in September. Yeah, and and you heard Woolley's report earlier with uh, like the the guys seeing tons of blue, uh, lots of bluefin uh, jumping out of the water there in the channel. So it's it's game on any day now. Exactly. Yep, it looks good. Yeah, awesome. Well, well certainly yeah. great uh, great fishing to be had, and you know the beauty of it. We talked about it uh, yesterday. That fishdope.com report. You can save thirty bucks now off of a new membership to fishdope.com using the code hook up now. All lowercase, no space, saves you thirty bucks on a new fishdope subscription. Keep track of that blue fin when the guys are coming back and forth between Catalina and the beach, and and the weather and new rigs and everything else. Daniel does such a great job keeping everything up on fishdope. And Dave, if somebody wants to find you, how do we do it? Well, real quick, Rick, I'm sorry. Kelly Girl and I both want to wish Danny Lynch a very happy birthday. Yesterday was his birthday. We didn't get a chance to talk to him. So happy birthday, Danny, and look me up at Your Saltwater Guide, Your Saltwater Guide on every social media platform. And I'll talk to you guys next Sunday.
Awesome, hey, buddy. Appreciate that very much. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more uh, Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. I want to remind you, if you like to fish tuna and you're not using gamakatsu hooks, you are missing bites. The Nautilus Circle Hook comes in sizes as small as a number 4 and up to a 6.0. And for big fish, that Nautilus HD is tough enough but not oversized. Both come ringed or non-ring. See your local dealer or check gamakatsu.com. Or better yet, come on down to Day at the Docks today and get your gamakatsu at buy to get one free and get a free hook box from Rick and the boys over at Gamakatsu. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. Hi, it's me again, Ben, and I wanted to tell you about a great event at my dad's shop, Dana Landing, in Mission Bay. It's coming up on Saturday, May 4th, and we call it the Summer Kickoff Sale. Yeah, I know. It's not summer yet, but my dad, Johnny, Bubba, and everyone at Dana Landing, especially me, wish it was. So we celebrate a bit early with huge discounts on everything in the store. Some stuff is even 50% off. There will be several manufacturer representatives, some amazing seminars, and even my buddy Ron Lane at Fast Lane will have free kayak demos and stuff on sale. Pete and Rick will broadcast live from the event on Saturday, May 4th and have some super expert guests. Rollo Kids will have a booth too, raising money to take kids like me fishing. So mark your calendar Saturday, May 4th, the summer kickoff sale at Dana Landing next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Everything will be on sale up to 50% off. Man, I hope my dad has enough money to let me buy stuff. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska, it's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently deliver deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me, book your trip to Kingfisher Charters and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. This is Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Join Captain Mike Totter, Chef Josh Evans, as a new era begins for Searcher Sport Fishing. Mike and Josh will continue the legacy of excellent customer service, fantastic food, and an amazing crew. Book your fishing adventure now online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. Searchersportfishing.com, 619-226-2403. It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish and I like smaller reels too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every hundred feet. Perfect for flatfall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. The quality of the captains and crew, as well as the great meals and service, speak for themselves. Comfortable staterooms, a super clean and well taken care of boat, are just a few of the reasons the Islander is so popular. The Islander specializes in one and a half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islandersportfishing.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, what a difference an hour makes, huh? Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's crazy around yeah, here right it's now. Yeah, wild. There's a lot of people here today. At Day at the Docks, come on down. Beautiful day here at the San Diego Sport Fishing Landings. Again, parking available where you can find it. And also they have a shuttle from Shelter Island that starts, I believe, at 9 a.m. Uh, but to get down here early and uh, grab some deals, uh, deals at Fisherman's Landing. Of course, the Rollo event is going on with the used tackle sale and the spin the spin to win reel is, is going on. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Rosie Flowers, come on over, Rosie. Rosie's here, and we talked about Cedro Sport. Right here. Right here, Rosie. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, good morning. Good morning. And we talked about the, those spots available. Yeah, you know. July what's, trip. what's that all Jul- about? Well, Did they find out that Tommy P was hosting it and they exactly. all failed? Yeah, they You're failed. exactly right. <laughs> so what had actually happened is it was a a a grandfather, father, and grandson. And grandpa's getting a knee replaced. Ah, so the three had to cancel. So, you know, unfortunate for them, but fortunate for somebody else to get on a good trip. On a prime time. So the the, the dates again are? July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. What's so cool about that, too, is it opens up a whole boat for a whole group. You know, three buds can come together, have the whole boat themselves. Like, that's cool. And that, that, you know, it's so funny because that was one of the things I was going to say. If you can get that threesome, you guys got the whole boat to yourselves. And away you go. You do what you want to do, where you want to do it, on the day you want to do it. Uh, Or if you're just single, if you're single out there and you want to come join the trip. Absolutely. And, you know, that's a really great thing about this trip. And Tommy P will probably tell you it's, it's, uh, this it's one more, was the, more individuals. It's a lot of just yeah. individuals, so it's like you know you could work it that yeah. way too. So you so. Oh, and a lot of people have always wanted to go, or they want to go back. Cedro sport fishing. How do we grab those spots? And you have other spots throughout the season. I too. do have some spots throughout the season, onesie twosies, and uh, you know the easiest thing, honestly, is just to give me a call. Phone number is six one nine seven seven two seven five seven zero. I like it when you call me because that way we can go through any other questions that you might have, totally. give you your o- different options of payment, and uh, just get you all dialed in that way. All right. Thanks, okay. Rosie. Appreciate You're welcome, you guys. That. Thanks, Thanks so much. Have a great day down, day down here. There. Enjoy. Do you, have, you don't have a booth here. I don't. You're just I hanging wish. Out. I would like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, uh, yeah. yeah but I got it. But I'll be walking of, around representing. So. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Have a great Sunday. Appreciate that. Hey, Steve Carson is here. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. And I wanted to mention that all these years I've been coming to this, I was running a little bit late today. Yes. And I said, I'm going to take the shuttle, by, which, by the way, started at 8. Oh, it started they, at 8. Okay. And they inform me it, it, the return goes back as late as 6. Okay. Hey, all right. Very and good. so I rode the shuttle in for the first time ever. Ever. Make it easier. Which right? was kind of fun. In, four, yeah. in 40 years of doing this, this was your first time taking the yes, shuttle. There yes. you go. Uh, more than 40. I was going to correct Doug because <laughs> the first couple of years, this thing was the first week of December. And Doug Kern personally now pays the Chamber of Commerce for this weather. No, oh, yeah, it's it. not cheap. Yeah. Let me no, tell you about it. No, it's pretty nice. Hey, uh, Leroy, Garden Grove, are you still hanging around? Leroy, are you still here? Uh, maybe he's in buying tackle. How about uh, the? I know Bob Wolfson's here. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then how about Gene? I know you're here because you're right there. <laughs> Hi, Gene. Hey, how you guys? Step doing? up to that mic there. Such a beautiful day today to meet. It is. Uh, isn't legends. It? Anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you, Rick, and uh, this gentleman right next I'm to Pete. Him. Yeah. Pete. I've heard about you guys quite a yeah, bit. Have you? And I love to Have you ever listened to Let's Talk Hookup? Many, many years. Okay, good. <laughs> but I got lucky because I don't have to call in today because I could never get on. Oh. So that's the way to do it. So it's such a well, we're glad day to be out here can. today at the docks with Bob Wolfson, my neighbor. Oh, Bob's uh, your neighbor. Wow. Yeah, well, Bob's Legend. the one that got me into uh, long-range fishing, so I'm very thankful for that. Oh, that's cool. So he brought me up here today and said, you know what? What? We're gonna have a great day. Oh, that's cool. So uh, it's it's just been a big blessing. But the question I have for you guys is this: on the knife jigs, there are many of them. And who is the expert on the knife jigs on the bluefin that say this jig, that jig, or whatever? But really, what works? Because there's so many of them. Sure. Yeah. So I'd like to speak to to Steve Carson. Well, first and foremost, depth control. Have either by the marked line, and I heard you talking about all the nice specials on marked line. Uh, uh, For sure, if you if you don't have that, then mark your line with a sharpie. Every at least every hundred feet in a way that you'll remember, and not just a little mark, like a big two foot mark, and that you know. So when the captain calls out the depth. It's not a suggestion. That's where they are. Yeah. He says they're they're at 350 feet. Let's just say, which is a pretty common depth. Drop your jig down to, uh, what I would do is I drop it down to the 400-foot mark. Probably 50% of the time, you're going to get bit as the jig is going through them down. 
There's no bottom. If your jig stops, you've got to bite, crank in. But drop it to 400 feet, wind it back fast to about 300 feet. Anything beyond that's a waste of time. And then what happens is, is the boat will be drifting, either with the wind or the current or both, and your line will be scoping out. Usually you can get two drops in the zone, sometimes three, before your line kind of starts to angle out. Once your jig is not going straight up and down through that exact zone the captain called called out, it doesn't matter what jig you're using, you're not going to get a bite. If it is going through that zone, you probably will get a bite. The problem there, of course, is a 100-gram jig, let's just say, even if it's a great jig, is never going to get down 350 feet. So you kind of have to be ready to get down as deep as the fish are running. But whether or not they bite a, a you know a pink and silver one, or a blue pink and silver one, or a plain lead eddy bomb is far less important right. than very precise depth control. Right. And and you know, the difference between you know one jig, another a streak, a streaker versus a rip roller versus a West Coast jigger versus a Johnny jig. You know, all of them are just like surface iron. All of them are going to have a little different wobble and a little different wiggle, and some of them are going to sink a little faster, and some of them are going to have a little more action on the fall. And there is no there is no right or wrong. Like this is the right one for a bluefin. J- just like on a surface iron, you, you couldn't say. A Taddy 45 is better than a 7X for this reason. You know, they both swim a little different, and n- neither one is right nor the other wrong. They're just different variations, and you know, size and shape sink faster, sink slower, things like that. C- couldn't agree more with what Steve says. Like being where the fish are is overwhelmingly the most important part. And then as long as the lure's got good hooks attached to it and a good leader in front of it, 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 it the the business end of it makes makes lesser importance. Okay. All right. Hey, well, great. Bob Wolfen's right here, your neighbor. Yeah. Bob, <laughs> step up to the mic there. Thanks, Gene. One nice of the legends. Thanks you, for buddy. coming down, Gene. Appreciate it. Hey, Bob. Thank you very much. Look at That's this guy, huh? The Wolfman. The Wolfman himself. Just went in the shop and uh, bought a uh, Talica 16, and I'm going to have Max Quattro 80 put on that. Nice. Solid. And I'm going to take and you it get that for free. That's right. Yeah, yeah I got to put a T handle, uh, a Tiburon handle on it. What and was I'll, the deal on the Talica 16? Ten uh, percent off. Oh. plus free line. Plus free line. There and you go. You can't say that, but he can. Yeah, say that. I, yeah. I, well, I didn't say it. Bob yeah. Wolfson said that. <laughs> I'm going on a, a, a two day uh, on, on uh, next Sunday and hopefully put it to action. And I'd like to know about daytime bluefin fishing right now. Is any any luck on the daytime? Bluefin what do you think? Fishing? Well, uh, it's. As we heard from Captain Hansen yeah. just a few minutes ago, it's all about the weather right now. Once the weather calms down, um, and, you know, there have already been some daytime bluefin bites that have then been interrupted by some unfortunate weather. But at some point, that's going to end, and I think we're going to have an excellent surface, you know, daytime surface bite on bluefin this year. Well, I, I think you, I think you got it in for you. You're going on the Supreme this Supreme this? Uh, next Sunday, and I'll let you guys know. They have had they have had several good trips of of standard fly line fishing and then sinker rig fishing in the daytime already this year. I, and that Aliar is such a, a wizard when it comes to those bluefin. I wouldn't be a bit surprised for you guys to do some daytime. And, and a perfect rig you bought, Bob. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming up down, Bob. And always great to see you. Appreciate that. Now this, I mean, it was just text is like designed for uh, Steve Carson. And <laughs> who would have known that Steve Carson was going to be here? It says, good morning, guys. I've got outfits on Steve Carson's list, but curious about how sure I am about the suggestions on the list for terminal tackle on my next trip on a three day next month on the angler, an American angler of course and don't forget they have a booth down here, Lori's down there uh, uh, saying hi and Brian and, and the guys so be sure to go by and see the angler booth. What are the must have items that's from Steve and Bishop St- Oh, <laughs> is that Steve K? Well I don't know. Oh, I bet that's Steve K. He's sandbagging me. He knows. Um, but, yeah, as you go down the line, from your 100-pound rig should be a, some kind of heavy jig. That's a whole hour discussion on its own. Around 400 grams is kind of average um, to get usually deep enough. Even that's not always enough. Then going downward to your 60-pound your rig, that's kind of your do-all. That is uh, uh, lately been the, uh, the drop shot rig or the brawler rig for your live bait. And that works day and night. 
Uh, pretty phenomenal success the last couple of years as more people adapt it. Uh, rig number three, that's your your most useful one. That is um, that's what you're, fly, you're going to use for fly lining, 40 pound rig. Uh, that's what you're going to use for fly lining for fish. I say it's good for fish up to 100 pounds. The truth is, if there's 100 pound fish there, um, it's a little bit light. But if they're you know 50, 60, 70 pounds, your 40 pound rig is it. Then your 30 pound rig, that's the that's the uh, the the piece of art um, for your. Once a year, guy, your 30-pound rig is for a 30-pound tuna. For Rick, <laughs> or or any of our many advanced angles we have out here, when you have finicky bluefin, 50, 60, 70 pounds, I am not afraid to break out the 30-pound rig as long as it's a two-speed. And we get the big, I don't see any here, but we get the big NFL lineman types that say, I don't need a two speed with 30 pound. Yes, even yeah, they do. Totally. Even, even they, they do. They do. Yeah, absolutely. No question about it. Hey, let's jump into the phones. There's some very patient callers. How about we talk to uh, Robert, who's calling us from Canyon Country this morning. What's up, Robert? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Awesome show as usual, guys. I learn something every weekend. Um, I was wondering about if you could go over the Rollo, how that all works. A friend of mine just bought a 60-foot sport fisher, and we signed up for the um, veterans setup, and I was also wondering how the Rollo works. War here is on the water. Good for you. Glad you signed up. Yeah, um, you know, in, in terms of Rollo here at Day at the Docks, there's several things going on. Um, uh, the big used tackle sale, they collect tackle all year long, um, you know, via donations. And today is the day they sell it and use that money to send kids out fishing. Today is also the culmination of the grand raffle prize. And as we heard, there's a, a spinning wheel. If you buy two tickets to the grand raffle prize, you, in addition to having those big tickets for all the big the big name items, you're also going to get a chance to spin the wheel for every ticket you get, and those prizes are right in front of us, and they range from rods and reels and, uh, you know, all the way down to jigs and swim baits and, and everything else. So so that's what's going on today in terms of Friends of Rollo. And uh, again, like Mike was saying, if you ever want to donate any type of gear, you can go to any one of the locations, Fisherman's Landing, Dana Landing, Dana War Sport Fishing, and they'll uh, gladly accept any piece of gear you have to donate. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for the call. We're trying to try and sneak in Michael and San Diego, you still hanging around, Michael? San Diego, you still here? Uh, how about uh, Leroy and Garden Grove? Did he come back? Um, John and Escondido? John's here. There's John right there. Hi, John. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Pete, so yesterday you talked about uh, your uh, uh, battery, your, your lithium battery, right? Right. Does it attach to the rod? You know, cause you no, say, that's not the one that attaches to the rod. It's just like but, a regular, but, but, like a, like a motorcycle-style battery. Do they make one, though? Uh, with the, They do not. Uh, but we'll have to talk to Norsk about that because yeah, uh, that, that, that thing sounds easier, pretty cool. Especially for my wife, so she doesn't have all the stuff yeah. going around and stuff like yeah. that. But my question for Rick. Um, what I do is I put a little backpack, like a little fanny pack on. All right. Fits into that fanny pack with the wire coming out of it. Piece of cake. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, the rod you guys are making for me, what reel would you uh, uh, would you uh, pair with that? You and I need to decide whether we're going to go super user-friendly. This is a Surface Iron outfit. Super user-friendly and go Tranks 500 or uh, Ultimate Casting Distance Performance Trinidad 20. And, uh, okay. and those are the two now, merits. Now the, the 20 or the 20A? Go with the 20A, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. Excellent. Yeah. And like I said, one's going to just be your Ferrari best casting. The other's going to be similar in casting. Not quite the same power, not quite the same distance, but very close and really user-friendly. Oh, excellent. Just easy to cast, that kind of thing. Hey, thanks for coming down. Uh, r- real quick, uh, great text here from Richard Ocean Society. This is a great show. I haven't been to Day at the Docks today, but I'm coming down. Do they still have the catch and release pens for kids this year? Because he's bringing a kid down. Steve Carson? I, I rode on the shuttle with a couple of people that are volunteering for the pens. Okay. Yeah, and I know that we accepted all the free rods and reels for the for the pens to be used. Yes. So, so they, and they're at, at every landing, right? I know they have them at Fisherman's Landing. They I, the I don't know that it's at every landing. I think they may be limited by how many volunteers they got, but right. it seemed like a lot to me yeah. in the bus. They're definitely here at Fisherman's Landing. They have the the Everingham Brothers stock the pens uh, so with a mackerel. That's so pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. one of the great free things here. The other thing that's free is a, is a Steve Carson seminar. Tell us about that. 12.30, that's going to be my five rigs for Bluefin. Don't leave the dock without them. The 12.30 my, on the main 12 stage. 12.30. No, no, right, oh, right, right here. here. Right here. Okay, this is the main stage. That's the main stage when okay. we're, we're on it. And um, 
uh, yeah, it's it's been super popular. Um, I love you know I love questions from the audience. I always get the best questions of the entire year at this show, and then those questions I realize are my shortcomings in the presentation, and I work those answers in. Uh, no other audience is like this audience. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. No, well, nobody. And and nobody does a seminar like Steve Carson. Agreed. And you're giving away free things. I'm giving away a few things. Um, uh, some people just raffle them off, and you just kind of get lucky even if you were asleep. Oh, I'm number, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I make them earn them. They have okay. to pay attention. Oh, very good. <laughs> Steve's seminars are a lot of fun. Don't miss it, 1230. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, including finding out who's winning some new Costa glasses and 50 bucks to Point Loma Seafoods. More Let's Talk hookup coming your way in the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Day at the Docks is back Sunday, April 7th, and Fisherman's Landing Tackle will have our best booth ever. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our Day at the Docks booth, both in the shop and out in the parking lot, will feature the Shimano lineup of rods, reels, and lures, like Talica reels, Terramar rods, and current sniper lures. And as always, our expert staff at Fisherman's Landing Tackle will help you select that perfect Shimano setup. Day at the Docks and Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Sunday, April 7th. Great deals on Shimano. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and and full day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at fishermanslanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. Spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at RoyalStarSportFishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. San Diego, if there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your San Diego County Ford dealer is the place to start. With great offers on a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains, get your ideal combination of power and capability. Whether it's gas, hybrid, or all electric, you have the power to choose. Get ready and go get your own. Visit your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day trips on the Daily Double and full-day trips on the Mission Bell every day. Perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the American Angler, Vagabond, Intrepid, Independence, New Loan, T-Bird, Game Changer, and more. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup again live here at Day at the Docks. All right, it's time to find out from our callers or texters who's winning a brand new pair of Costa sunglasses. I'm doing the coin flip, and today it's Heads, which was for the callers. Congratulations, Robert in Canyon Country. You've wow. got yourself a brand new pair of Costas coming your way. How cool is that? Yeah, how cool is that? Congratulations. And you get that Costa bag, too, so which is rad. cool. And now Tommy's going to pull the name from the step up to the mics. Now, this is for... This uh, is for Point Loma, or Point Loma for Seafoods. Point Loma Seafoods winner is Mike in San Diego. All right, Mike in San Diego wins the fifty dollars to Point Loma Seafoods, and the Costa winner. Come on, Tommy. Come on now, Tommy. Right now. <laughs> All right, and that is going to Nick in Temecula. All right, Nick, are you still here? Yeah, Nick in first, Temecula. First All right. Step up. All right, very good. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate everybody. Come on down to Day at the Docks. Uh, it's going to be a great day down here at the San Diego Sports Fiction. Thanks to Bill for all his great work uh, as the engineer. Thanks to Tommy and Gary for coming down. We'll have our booth here with those fantastic deals. Come on down and join us. Thanks to JP for Men on the Phones. We'll be back next Saturday and Sunday. My name Chris and Tony from CCA California. Sunday, Captain Fred Huber and Steve Peterson from the Daily Double and the Mission Bell. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next week right back here on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app.